Good day viewers. I hope you are doing well wherever you are watching this video from. Okay, so I want us to answer a question that came in mathematics uh, paper 1 for 2022. That is for external candidates, GCE. So this question is coming from travel graphs. Okay, so as you can see, it's under question 23. So to GCE students, this question you find it in an exam. And it will be on the same question number 23, living this year. So the, uh, the following diagram is the speed time graph of a car. Okay? So this is the diagram. You are able to see it. So in the x-axis here, this is the x-axis. We have uh, time. Then in the y-axis right here, we have speed. Okay? So uh, the first question is calculate acceleration of the car during the first five seconds so before you even calculate the acceleration of the car we must understand that from this point from zero okay we must understand that from zero up to here this is where we have acceleration okay i hope you are getting me then from here here we have what we call retardation okay we have what we call retardation or deceleration so here the car is accelerating here the car is decelerating then here we have the speed the constant speed there okay so let's see how we can answer question a so calculate the acceleration of the car during the first five seconds all right so how can we answer this question so i'm going to say question a all right so acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity over time okay so from here our final velocity when you look at the graph the velocity i said is in the y-axis so your final velocity is right here where i have a 20 so 20 minus your initial velocity is where from the car is starting to accelerate right here okay it's going up so the initial velocity is zero over time they have said five seconds in the first five seconds so time is five from there acceleration is equal to 20 minus zero get a 20 over 5 okay 20 over 5 equal to 5 into itself it's 1 5 into 20 are going to get a 4 now since this is acceleration so your units are going to be meters per second square this is our answer so we have answered question a there we are now going to answer question B and D, C. So our acceleration is equal to 4 meters per second square. You get a 2 max. You can see here, it was carrying 2 max. Uh, all right. So we have answered our first question where we have said the, uh, the value of the acceleration. We have said it is 4 meters per second square. Okay. So, we are now going to B. Find the value of T, given that the total distance traveled was 550 meters. Okay? So, from this diagram here, you can see T is right here. Okay? T is right there. They want you to find the value of this T. So, when you talk about distance under the, the graph, we are talking about the area that is covered under the graph. So, the whole area this area that i'm shading that is the distance we are talking about okay and when you look, when you look at this shape when you look at this shape this shape this shape this shape right here this is what we call a trapezium okay this is what we call a trapezium so uh, we are going to use the area of the trapezium because I've said area under the graph, area under the graph, okay, or distance under the graph is the area which is under the graph. 
So since this is a trapezium, we are going to apply the formula for finding the area of the trapezium, where I will say uh, distance is equal to A plus B cross bracket times H over 2. This is the formula for finding the area of the trapezium. Okay, Here, where there is D, I've just put D because I've said area under the graph is the distance. Okay, So, where there is D, we are going to put the 550, 550 equal to this A. When you look at this graph, the A is here, the B is here. So, the A is from this point up to this point. So, we are going to look at the time. Here the time is 25. Here the time is 5. So the difference in time, 25 minus uh, 5, you get a 20. So the value of A is 20. Plus the value of B. The value of B, I've said this from 0, from this 0 right here, up to T. This is representing what? Uh, B. So it's T minus 0. T minus 0, the difference in time, T minus 0. So B, you are going to get a T. Because T minus 0, you get a T. Height, the height is right here. Okay? So the height you are considering from this point up to this point. This is where the height is. So you have a 20 there. So where there is H, we put a 20 over what? Uh, over what? So I do hope that you are following. So from here, uh, what you are going to do is, you do this 2 here, 1, 2 into 20, it's a 10. Okay. So we have something like this. I'll, I'll, I'll write here, 550 is equal to, so here are remaining with a 10, 10 times 20, you get a 200 plus 10 times t, going to get 10 t. So from what you have gotten here, correct the right terms. The right terms are 550 and 200. So 200, you go to where 550 is. In other words, I'm saying the additive inverse of 200 is a uh, negative 200 because this is a positive. So we are going to have 550 minus... 200 equal to 10 t so when you subtract this 0 minus 0 is 0 5 minus uh, 0 is 5 then 5 minus 2 it's a 3 equal to 10 uh, t okay so we have 350 equal to 10 t let me rub what i've written here to create space so we have said we have uh, 350 is equal to 10 t. So we want to find the value of t. We divide by 10, even this side by 10. So this 10 and this 10 will cancel. Therefore, t equal to, so this and this will cancel. 1 in, in 2, 35, you get a 35. Remember, the value of t is in time. So this is 35 seconds. This is it your answer there. You have gotten your two marks again. You have gotten your two marks again. So I hope that you are following. So you have answered question A and B. We are just remaining with the C. So where there is T here, there are 35 seconds. Okay? Take note of that. Take note of that.